to a special edition of Entrepreneurs en Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs. Today we have a special appearance, special guest, Dave Hoffer. And we're here at the at Bryce Cleveland's 2016 Micropigmentation Conference. How are you doing, Dave? How are you? I'm doing just fine, man. Doing fine. You're, you're, you're representing the LC. The 714. Yes. <laughs> oh, you know, you know the area. Dude, I lived in Newport Beach for, I don't know, a couple of years. Okay. Uh, getting my master's degree before they kicked me out, and it's just way too expensive to uh, live over there. They kicked you out for a good reason. They, they, exactly. They kicked, I, I think I kicked myself out of there. I just couldn't afford it. I'm not originally from there. from the East Coast. From the East Coast? East Coast. And how I'm, did you... I was born in Philly. All right. Raised in New Jersey. Took a Mecca down to Florida, which everybody in the, in the Northeast does. The best story about Philly yeah. that I know of is that you guys booed Santa at a football game, at an Eagles game. You remember that game because you're a football fan. They, they booed Santa, right? That right off of the field. You don't, anyway, but Philly fans. Yeah. yeah. That, that, those are Philly fans. But you wound up in Orange County. Now in Orange County? Yeah. With Scalp Aesthetics. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's, a, it's a great area. Um, got a good little family there, group of friends, businesses. It's good. I mean, it's, it's a great place to be. The need for what you do. So you move from, from the East Coast over to the West Coast. Uh -huh. The need is all over the place. I mean, so long as you have a, uh, some kind of uh, uh, balding uh, areas in your head or alopecia or something, there is the need for what you do. It doesn't matter if it is East Coast, West Coast. I wouldn't even say the need, because no one needs this. Nobody needs this. I have plenty of friends that are bald and happy. He doesn't need it. Nobody needs it. They want it. They want it because the difference. They, they want it. Okay. What is the difference? There's there's people out there. Look at Jason Statham. Look at Vin Diesel. Look at Bruce yep. Willis. Yep. Do they need it? Sure. Do they have it? No. Yeah. That Very means they don't need it. Very successful. You need things. You need food to survive. You need water to survive. You don't need this. People want it. It's an insecurity thing. People that are insecure. Hey, obviously I was a little insecure too. If you're confident enough. You don't need it, but let's face it, the majority of people, they're losing their hair, lose their confidence. How long, I, I am sitting incredibly close to you. A little too close. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Yeah. We're going to become very good friends okay. here in a minute. Yeah. But I, I see what you have there, and it's, it, I know it's not real. Yeah. It's an illusion. Yeah. It's a reflection of the, the, the scalp. Uh, or representation of the scalp, but it looks incredibly real. I don't think it's done right. I don't tell me, done tell, right. tell me about that because the micropigmentation industry, where it is today, and perhaps you can take us a little bit historically, how far back we go into this industry, and the terrible things that you've probably seen mm -hmm. on, a, on a daily basis. And what I see here, it's just artistry. And that's exactly it. It's, it's artistry. And you can give Picasso, he's an amazing artist, use a paintbrush, use a certain brand of paint, use a, a nice canvas. Amazing artist. What if I gave you all that stuff? Think you could do it? Think you can paint like Picasso? Uh, not at all. It takes a good artist. It takes a good artist to do things. Michael Jordan, great basketball player. Awesome basketball player. Wears Air Jordans. I'm going to go my, buy myself a pair of Aero Jordans. I guarantee I won't play like Michael Jordan. Why? I'm not him. It's the artist. It's the athlete. It's the person. It's in the hands. It's I've, seen, I've seen people... Listen, I'm in Orange County. It's close to L.A. Yep. Major market. Yep. Huge market. Yep. There's, there's companies all over L.A. that do this. Everybody claims that they got the best this, the best, this, best that, best whatever. Sure, they can, they can claim all they want. But when, when it comes down to it, I've seen horrible, horrible procedures. Horrible. The color is fine. The needle size is too big, or the dots are too big, or their hand pressure is too hard. It's all in the hands of the artist. Which begs the question. Certainly you have incredible talent for what you do. Because I love what I do. You, you love what you do, but that's not enough. You have a special talent as an artist, and you've mentored other people. You've taught people how to do this thing. I Mark. haven't taught people. I haven't. The only thing I've done is I've helped people want to learn. There's actually a, a guy here. He, uh, I, I did his head, gosh, was eight months ago. Yep. Because of how he felt about it, he wanted to pursue it. So I don't teach anybody. I haven't physically said, here, take this machine, dip it in here, show it. Like I haven't done that. I've never taught anybody. I've just helped them want to pursue it. 
you encourage people of course. to develop their artistry. But that's what it happened to me. I had my head done a long time ago. I liked how I looked. Wow. I liked how I felt. I liked how it changed my life. Changed my life, yeah. I had a good life anyway. I liked how I felt. If I can help other guys out there that are wearing hats all the time, hiding under their hats, covering up their bald spot, if I can help other people, man, what better job is it? It's rewarding. It's a great, rewarding thing to know that when I'm finished with somebody, they walk out feeling awesome. Are you, are you born with that talent to be able to do what you do, or can you help, can you teach I think artistry? it can be taught because it's not like drawing a portrait. Yes, it is, and I don't want to minimize it by saying it's sure. just, put, just putting dots on yeah. it, but the difference is, I think expertise and, and um, uh, experience goes a long way. I know how to adjust. My skin can be different than your skin, than a black guy, than an Asian guy, than an old guy, a young guy, dry skin, oily skin, scar tissue. Every scar is different. I've had some thick scars, some thin scars. You have to know how to adjust. You can't, I'm not going to say you can't learn that. You can learn it, but some people just get it. I was an artist. I still am an artist for 20 plus years. I knew I'd be able to do it. Some people can get it right away. Yeah, if I ended up teaching somebody, I could teach you. It may take you a week. Or I could teach somebody, it could take them a month because they just don't get it. So it can be taught, um, but some faster than others. And it also, I would imagine, depends on the dedication and the passion that I have. Of course, yeah. And the willingness to learn and to listen to what you are presenting to me that will determine whether I will be successful in kind of adapting or actually getting the information. Well, that I think success comes with, listen, you can learn how to do it and be fine. But if you don't, if you're doing it just for the financial gain, you may get that, but I don't think you're gonna see that many clients. Or you may, I don't know, it, it, it's hard. I, I'm in this because people see how passionate I am about it. I had it done, obviously. And when they hear my story, they're like, wow, you, you really like to do this, yeah. Am I doing it for the money? I'm not. I don't do this for the money. I do this for this, the, the sheer happiness and joy that I get out of when people walk out of my office. I get hugs. Hugs, big guys with tattoos all over their body. Orange County is tons of them. <laughs> I get hugs. People that walk in like this, walk out like this. There's no amount of money that can, I get the goosebumps when I talk about it. There's no amount of money that can make me feel that. And that's success to me. That's gonna come. The money in the pocket's gonna come. But that, that's not the important, and that's me. Not everybody, but that's me. And that's why I, I am who I am. That's why I get the clients that I get. I have a tiny little office. It's beautiful. It's two blocks from the beach. People like coming to my office because they like talking. They like the vibe that I get. It's, it's passion. I have a passionate, passionate vibe for this whole, this whole thing that I do. And that's why I'm good at it. How long have you had your five procedure? years? Before this five years, mm -hmm. prior to your procedure done, mm -hmm. who were you? Who was Dave? Same guy. Same guy. Dave was Dave. I was raised by my mom. She raised Dave. David, Dave, whatever you want to call it. Same person. Yeah, I had some insecurities. That's why I started working out. I was a little kid. I started working out. I started beef up a little bit. Every guy wants to be macho. Every guy wants to be big. Get the ladies' attention. That's it's common. It's, not, it's, it's nothing new. I was the same person, except my hair was going a little bit. Unfortunately for me, I have a brother, an older brother. Perfect hair. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds like my Perfect brother. Hair. Perfect physique. I was always, his name is Brett. I was always Brett's little brother. So I never was myself. And he had perfect hair. He got everything. And then I started losing my hair. And then my older brother still got his. So it, it was tough. Because I always wanted to be like him. And I never had good hair. Anyway, so I'm glad it kind of went. Um, but I was still the same guy. I was just kind of, I would hide a little bit. I like, okay, I'm... In the grocery store and there's a hot chick behind me or something. I'm going to cover up my spot and I'm going to, you know, do this kind of stuff. It's, it's common. You were self-conscious. Of course. But who isn't? Who isn't? Everybody in this whole country is self-conscious. We everybody. walk by a mirror and we... Everybody. If we were all so happy, then none of us would have mirrors. None of us would be judging anybody else. It's, it's the way it is. I mean, it, and with technology and Facebook and there's so many friends. Like everybody's... It, it, it's the way it is. This changed your life. Changed it? No. No. I had a great life. I had my girlfriend already. I had my kids already. I had the love for my family already. I had it all. 
didn't change my life at all. It gave me a different perspective. perspective. Sure. It gave me a less worry because I was always, there was one thing that I couldn't change was losing my hair. I was shaving it anyway. Okay, fine. I'm a bald guy. So what? I got love. I got, I got everything. Didn't need anything else. But I kind of wanted something else. Didn't need it. I wanted it. You wanted it. I had, let me tell you up real quick. Yep, go ahead. My girlfriend, when I told her I was going to do this, she said, you know, I love you the way you are. Bald, fat, I don't care. I love you the way you are. I met you like this. I love you like this. It wasn't for her. It was for me. I said, I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. So I feel a little bit better. And what happens when you feel good, when you look good, everybody benefits from it. feel. Yeah. The feel. That's all it did. It gave me one less thing to worry about. I don't have to worry about if the, if the camera's on me or something like that. And like a shiny bald spot. Yeah, my whole head's shiny anyway. You can't do anything about that. But it gave me one less worry. It didn't change me. I'm still the same person that loves his mom, loves his brother, loves his family. Do you see, though, in the people that come to you, their lives change? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I've heard stories today of lives changing immediately. Grown men crying. It was one of, one of the, 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 the stories that we heard. Mm -hmm. And it does. It does change people's lives. The first guy that I did that told me, Mal, you just changed my life. It was a little, oh, oh, it's a little, oh, my God, I can't change your life. And what my, but those were his but, words. But there was his words. But my message to him was, I didn't change your life. I helped you change your own. I didn't physically do it. I gave you something that you didn't have. Oh, what? You had it already in you. He had it already. Every one of these guys already has it in them. They're just not. They're sitting like this when they're born. Now they're sitting like this. They feel bad. That's it. It's, it's a simple, simple thing. But there's a lot of people that say, you've changed my life. Okay, I've changed your life. Well, good. Go, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad I can be a part of changing someone's life. That's what feels so good about what I do. Dave Huffer, Scalp Aesthetics. And the message that I hear from you, it's maybe a couple of levels deeper than just doing the procedure yeah uh, much deeper than that and what i'm hearing is that each one of us inside of us have what it takes who you just want an award how about that right <laughs> right in the middle of this you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go get your award but Look, they're going to think I'm rude for not going up there to get it. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to have to end the interview so that you can go get it. Okay. And I was having so much fun, man. I mean, I, I, I appreciate I, you it. You know what? I can talk to anybody about this. It hair, hair, women. Yeah. I can talk to anybody about this. Thank you. Representing the OC. So no, man, you're good. With that, we're out.